I am emotionally pissed off right now. We are going to Burning Man in three days. Burning Man doesn't start in three days, but I have to leave here in three days. Everything that I wanted to be done is not going to be finished. The... It does, everything's going to be fine. I just feel emotionally overwhelmed right now. I got frustrated, I remembered what anger was, and normally anger is so far from where I am. And I'm... There's a thin veneer of jealousy that still exists, and that just makes everything more, everything else worse. It makes everything else a little bit harder to do. It, I feel like it affects my motivation, like it, it undermines it. Ultimately, it's an insecurity about my own abilities in terms of, you know, if I fail, then it hurts that much more. If I succeed, then it feels exactly the same. I have 500 gallons of oil that I have to filter, that I want to filter before Friday, and it's Wednesday night. And uh, two pumps, I had to replace them. I never replaced those pumps before on the processing unit, and uh, we just had we had every possible problem because I've never done it before. And any time I do anything, I always have every possible problem, and then I end up knowing it that much more thoroughly. But we have to wait until tomorrow to do it because the sealant has to set, and I hope that it works okay. I hope that the sealant works. The I wanted to talk to Sally about it, but she's having dinner with Jorge. And she cut off the call because she's having dinner with Jorge. And Jorge is this really cool guy that I haven't met yet, but he's definitely on top of this trip more than I am. It feels like he has more money, he's been doing this for a while, I'm going to end up looking up to him. She's had sex with him probably more than once, and uh, the main issue is attention. I don't, I feel like I don't have a metric for understanding when I can ask for attention. I want more attention. I feel like I don't have enough attention. But I wonder if I want more attention than I should have, and I can't tell how much attention I should have. She had a really intensive work job that was important to so much of what she's doing now is part of the project, and I am a very project or goal-oriented person. Anybody that helps it, anything they do, that's the most important thing. Even her relationship with Jorge is part of the project, in my opinion. She has the really intense job, and she's working on Burning Man, and she's working with other people. And uh, I have no idea when it's appropriate for me to ask for attention. At the same time, I have so much work right now, if I were to indulge in attention, that would be bad for the trip. I, that would be bad for the project. It's terrible. I, I probably didn't say it expressively enough, but it mattered to me enough to make a video about it. You know, I grieved about... I had a personal fortune of $100,000 that I built up. And I lost all of it in March. I thought I was done grieving about it, but, you know, Raphael and Jorge, they have more than a hundred thousand. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. I don't have any money, and they do. And uh, I'm terrified of the project not working. It's gonna work. I'm gonna do anything it takes to make it work. I already have been. Part of the issue is I, I went to Thailand for a month. I don't know if I already said that. It. Um. I ended up having to do this in two weeks. I have a 3D printing contract. I have to finish tonight 
that I didn't start on. And the computer that I used to 3D print on spontaneously stopped working and I have no idea what the problem is. It's a problem that is lower level than the operating system. I cannot just reinstall an operating system. It's something that has to do with maybe static discharge hit it or something that's it's above the BIOS but lower than anything else that I know of. I'm gonna bring the bus and it's gonna be messy. I wanted it to be like clean and ready because she was gonna be there. I didn't get the website done yet. The website that I was offered is not what I wanted, but since I have it, I might as well do it. It takes me days to figure out what I wanna do with a website and I've barely thought about it. She, however, has a sweet blog written with one blog entry, yeah, but in order to make something really good for this, I have to devote a day to doing acid and thinking about it, potentially right with her. So that's a whole, that's basically one and a half days that I have to quarantine off. The vegetable oil system. Not finished, not gonna be finished. I'm going to have to basically do blending with petroleum fuel at maybe a dollar a gallon. So going over there, it's how many miles? It's, let's guess, 1,500. Oh my god. Okay, wait. So that that's less than $150 I can do that. It's terrible. I'm out of money and I don't have a job and I'm going to Burning Man and I'm moving. It's not going to be as much as I wanted it to be. I feel like I understand much better what I should have done with my $100,000 than bet it all on something that I wasn't 100% sure about. I was basically 100% sure that I wouldn't lose more than 50000 I've got so much. I've got more than I expected in other ways. I just, it's just that the expectations are not fulfilled. At the same time, nothing's finished. It's all like half done, even though there's more than I expected to. I wanted to make a video about preparing for Burning Man that was like time lapse and would show me like being physical because that's been the most important part of it, but apparently this is what preparation for Burning Man is like. You know, Burning Man's supposed to be all ecstatic and spiritual and appreciative and artful and orgy-like, and, uh, you know, just the time crunch here for me has put me in this position. But this isn't most of it. Most of it is really happy about what I'm doing. Really happy that I'm doing it. Because there's so many options. Everybody else I talked to was like, no, I have to go to work. And I would be like, haha, slash, man. Just the, just the thought of, like, being in standard reality and then being in, you know, meta reality or some parallel reality. The first reality always tries to keep you inside it, like society, the matrix, etc. It has this natural pull where whatever point in history you're at, it's like the thing that everybody's doing. Even though what you really want to do is you want to make the next thing that everybody will do. There's no point in doing what's been done. It's more fun to do the things that have never been done. And then you get to give those to other people to benefit from. I have to go 3D print 